right. And we're off again. Um, so I, on average, I've been doing essentially two drams every other night, um, simply because it means I can kind of keep ahead of myself, and um, I'm not having to get a dram every night and get that sorted out. Um, and it's just a little bit easier for me to have a, 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 at least a whiskey ahead per day for me to edit and upload. It doesn't take a huge amount of time, but it is it is you know half an hour's worth, if, if not slightly less. But it's you know it's it's an amount of time per night that it's it's taken me to do it. Um, so it's it's been easier for me to sort of do two on one off, two on one off, just to kind of keep myself ahead. But I'm conscious that some of you might be thinking, well, I'm I'm having a dram and then just rinsing out the glass and um, having the next dram and that might actually be affected by the flavours that are still in my mouth of the previous one. So rest assured, in between each dram I am taking a decent uh, slug of water, rinsing my mouth out to try and make it as um, my mouth as clean as possible so that I am getting the most out of each whiskey. And it's water, not gin. Although after the week I've had them, tempted. Um, so, now this next one is, I've had to think quite carefully as to whether I was going to do this or not because um, I've been out of the industry for a few years and I didn't realise that this particular one had actually changed. But this is one of my all-time favourites and this was part of the collection of miniatures that was the um, mother of my daughter's school friend who um, inherited a load of whiskey for her aunt and she basically gave me all of the whiskey and said, can you sell it? Can you find out how much it's worth? I don't know if it's worth anything. And if you want any of the miniatures to do your challenge, that's absolutely fine. So I've basically taken the ones that I didn't think had any value, were still available, um, are, are the bog standard bottlings and packaging's changed, but the, the whiskey's not really. However, hmm, this next one that I'm gonna have, which is called Black Bottle. The camera, I keep looking over there, but the camera's there. This next one, Black Bottle, is one of my all-time favourite blends and um, is a blended whisky that was launched in 1879 and um, over the years developed and until fairly recently essentially was, um, it wasn't an Isla blended whisky but it, t it contained elements from every distillery on Isla along with some other um, whiskies from the rest of Scotland. There's a few space sides in there. Um, and it was essentially a really, really good introduction into Isla whiskies for anybody that didn't really want to kind of push the boat out too far in terms of the peaty, smoky, iodine flavor that you get from Isla. Fantastic whiskey, really, really good. Um, but in 2013, they relaunched it. So the new bottle looks like this. And in the bump of the um, sort of the relaunch and, and why they were, they were talking about what they were, they were doing, they've pared back the Isla influence. They're now going for more of a space I feel. Um, so the Isla influence is still there, but it's nowhere near as um, obvious as it, as it was in what this version is. So strictly speaking, I shouldn't actually be drinking this. I should be trying to get hold of a sample of the new black bottle because that's the one available. However, I've got this here, it's in my hand, and I can open it and I can put it on the list. Plus, 2013 wasn't that long ago, um, we we're only in February 2016, so there's still this stuff around, and from what I gather from looking at some um, comments on, on the interwebs, a lot of people aren't that keen on this new version, they're saying it's very ordinary um, and doesn't have any of the character that the old version did. Um, so I'm going to stick with this, I'm going to go with this one. So. Um, Black Bottle um, was funnily enough called Black Bottle because that was what it was um, it was released in, that was what they used to sell it in. Um, it was three brothers that owned a, um, uh, it was like a tea shop because tea was quite big in terms of exporting and importing. Um, and they had a tea shop but they, they got into blending whiskey um, and they were selling the whiskey that they were blending in a Black Bottle, it was called Black Bottle um, Blended Whiskey. Um, and as I say, over the years this Isla influence came in now the relaunched version is trying to hark back to how it what, how it tasted back in 1879 when it first got launched, which is fair enough, um, but if it's not as good, then they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Um, now, 
you'll notice that this is a green bottle and um, up to 1914 it was sold in a black bottle but unfortunately the company that made the black bottles for them to sell were German and obviously in 1914 Germany wasn't really that popular um, so they couldn't get supply of their black bottles anymore so um, they actually switched to green now um, the 70 CL bottles did go back to a black bottle but green ones are quite good because you can see how much is in the um, how much is left or not left. Um, the new version that I've just shown you is a black bottle, so you can't actually see the liquid in it. But um, yeah, silly German starting a world war and stopping being able to sell bottles to the Scots guys. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a lovely, lovely complexity to this. It's very gentle. There's, there is smokiness in there. There's a slight sort of medicinal feel, but it's gentle, it's soft, it's sweet. It's 40%, so it's you know at, at, the, at the minimum that it can be to be um, sold as whiskey, but very smooth. Why am I holding the bottle like this? Look at the bottle. Why am I holding the glass like this? What am I doing? I should be doing that. Um, oh, it's glorious. It's so easy drinking. It's just ridiculous. It's easy drinking. It's silky smooth, but it's got just enough of this kind of. It's like gentle waves of um, smoke. It's like being stood on a beach in Isla with a bonfire just over in the distance, and the wind's just bringing this smoke across, and this ashiness, and the smell of the peat and the grass and the sea air but there's also this sweetness of um, kind of it's, a, it's that Werther's original sweetness again um, or it's almost like you know the toffee fingers that you get in Quality Street my favourite ones my wife doesn't like them um, which is great because that means I get to eat them all not the toffee pennies it's the toffee fingers that are chocolate coated it's like that it's like you've eaten one of them while you stood on the beach smelling this distant bonfire, just kind of like odd wafts of smoke coming past you. It's incredible. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so nice. It's such a great introduction to Isla whiskey as well. It really is a case of give this to somebody that's never had Isla before. If they like it, you can take the next step up. If they don't, that's fine. You know them, because if they're not going to like this, then they're really not going to like anything else. But this is a great whiskey. And I'm glad I've opened it because I absolutely love it. I do wonder, I'm intrigued to try the new one now, but I'm also afeared of it because from what I gather, it's not this. This is, this is a different version. Um, and I, I have a fear that it's not going to be anywhere near as good as this because this is still one of my favorites. It's such a fantastic dram. Um, you were looking at about 15 quid for a bottle of this, which is, is criminal. It's so good. So good. Um, so if you can find one of the older bottlings, and what I'll do is I'll actually put a picture of this. This is a, a, a labelling that's before the oldest, before they changed it. Um, and I'll put a picture of it up now. And if you can find any of that, prices might start going up because it's no longer available and it's a different... Um, it's a different flavour as well. It's a different kind of compound of whiskies. So there'll be more demand for that. If this stocks are going to disappear, it's going to get harder and harder to find. So the prices are just going to keep going up and up. But if you can find that a decent price, if you can find this version still for sort of 15, 20 quid, it's only been gone for a couple of years. So it's still around and about. I've got a feeling people are going to snap this up. Do so because it is brilliant. Really, really good. Mm. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, right, great way to finish the weekend. Uh, to finish the weekend. The weekend's just started. Great way to finish the week. Um, and um, I am going to go and give my wife a cuddle and try and make her feel better. And hopefully my wife and kid will have a nice night's sleep and feel a lot better in the morning. So, uh, yeah, see you next time.